One band that probably owes its career to Woodstock is Santana. Santana was a young band of really talented musicians in the San Francisco Bay Area that were very well known on the West Coast, but had not released their first album yet. It was in the can, ready to be released, when they appeared on the stage at Woodstock and Santana exploded on the stage. Drummer Michael Shreve banged on those drums and created an impression that's widely recognized as probably one of the best drum solos in rock history. Santana's shining moment at Woodstock was Soul Sacrifice. It was towards the end of their set. Carlos Santana was very high on mescaline or LSD at the time, and he was having a hard time keeping it together. He's been on record as saying that the guitar neck was turning into a serpent, and he was struggling to keep it in his hand and play all the right notes. Everybody was playing at their best. Soul Sacrifice became an anthem for Woodstock. The Who was at the top of their game when they hit Woodstock. Tommy had been released earlier in the year, a month before they had started performing it uh, publicly. And so when they hit the stage at Woodstock, they played a couple of their old songs and then launched right into Tommy. And they did the entire rock opera for an audience that was probably very familiar with the, the, the material. And just as Roger Daltrey is singing See Me, Feel Me at the end of the rock opera, the sun is coming up.